So check it out, folks. You guys have seen who's here. You know what I mean, my friend? Hey, you want to talk about jokes? These two got jokes. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, I told you guys it was going to be epic. You know what I mean? Season three was going to be just something. He hey, told even Actually, to be honest with y'all, it like kind of like blew my mind. Who would ever thought a cat from South Central Los Angeles, right, would be sitting down here with these two greats? Hey, and what it means for the community and all of that. And then, not to like, you know, put all of the light right here, yeah. I got to talk about Pat. This all happened a year ago, folks. Yeah. And we told you it was going to be something epic. Yeah. So with that being said, listen, you know me, I don't like to over-talk it. I'm going to turn this over to you, let yeah. you say what you got to say, and then it's them. Hey, y'all, we told you it was going to be five. We got these two brothers. We want to dive right into the question. And I just got one question for y'all. Man, how the hell y'all end up running barbecue restaurants, opening up barbecue restaurants? Where did that come from? Hey, man, that's up. Well, we, we, first of all, man, appreciate y'all having us, man. It's uh -huh. dope right here. We right in Memphis in May. It's lit, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's our first time. But uh, me and then we started uh, AC Barbecue based, based off our love of cooking. We mainly, we golfers, so we'll go out with our boys. And, uh, you know, off the time, we do most of the cooking when they're, when they're out with the boys hanging. Right. Right. And so that, you know, that conceptually, of course, like, you know, like most of us, man, barbecue and grilling right. is how we start community, how we do our family, yep. how we celebrate with each other. And of course, it just was a very natural progression for us to figure out how to get into business. And, uh, you know, didn't know that it was this big. I mean, you know it was big, but it's right. crazy, man. That's an understatement. Bro. Yeah. I mean, it's wild, man. You know, I started my first barbecue restaurant in 1988. Okay. I was okay. 23. I just want to warn y'all. Okay. Hmm. All that golf? Yeah. yeah oh, it's over. Can't go. But you might get a little bit in. So, hey. Hey, you gotta be tell me, hey, tell me these and that hip don't move. Oh, like no, 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 no. I know y'all gonna probably have a fire team. So who is the better barbecue? Who gonna really be man in the pit? I don't know. We're gonna have to start selling now. We're gonna surround ourselves with the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's we what we're we, we keeping our day job, so yeah, you know, yeah. for the most part. But you know, we using we using our you know our notoriety and our celebrity to do what I do our flavor profiles, gotcha. things that we want. But then we are gonna hire that team that's gonna make, really make everything some of the best. You know, pit masters. Reason why we here? We we going around recruiting, looking, yeah. right, gathering. Right. Yeah. You know, we yeah. are here. We, this, 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 this draft day, matter of yeah. fact. Yeah. Hey, this draft I, day. I, I might share a few little secrets with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 did the, pull up. I did it the wrong way. Okay. Okay. I started well, with the barbecue place and then started doing television. Okay. I should have did TV. See, you should have did Yeah, you yeah, 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 TV started. Like, yeah. 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 And to answer your question, I get down with anybody in the backyard. Yeah. Now, now, we want to have a backyard barbecue, backyard cook-off, we can do that. But bring it to the restaurant is oh, something another ball completely game. different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I totally, hey, listen, different. I totally agree. I run a restaurant right now that's in uh, California, Raptor Cooker Market. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, and, uh, hey, it's a, it's a total different thing. You got to try to manage, uh, you want to make some money, you want to keep your name. You yeah. guys are too big, you're the face. You know right. what I mean? So it's got to be, you know, the ooh we for everybody out yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. even all the way down to the hiring, man, that's going to be a challenge, too. Because you need people to represent y'all. You know what I mean? And, hey, speaking of that, we got something we're getting ready to do in uh, in uh, Las Vegas. You know what I mean? Uh, so whenever tell you guys come out this way, listen. Tell this ain't, them, go ooh, ahead. I just, I, just, I just give them a little gym, a little tell Easter egg. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I like it. Just a little bit. You know yeah, what I mean? Now we got to Google it. Now I'm trying to yeah. figure out <laughs> what A.B. talking about. What is A.B. talking about in Vegas? Yeah, follow us now. and find out what A.B. means. Right, right, right. Right. Easter eggs I, all over the place. Hey, look, I don't know how y'all mind is, man. When I first came here, this is my third time coming, right? When yeah. I first came here, man, my head was like blown back. As you can see, I ain't got a whole yeah, lot of hair, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I grew hair and then blew it off. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I didn't know it was really, really this big. You know what I mean? And uh, me being from the West Coast, you yeah, know, exactly. Be, a lot of people question, like, hey, can he do? You right. know what I mean? Because yeah, I don't right. come from the South and stuff like that. But my family, they do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's one of the one of, one of the main things too that we always feel like in the world of barbecue and everybody kind of regionalized people thinking it is about the regions but what we really try to do with our company is a uh, show that is a community like like you have here absolutely and that people can have different styles of barbecue oh, yes. they can do it in a number of different ways and yet we'll end up giving it a real national face mm -hmm. to be able to feature people like yourself yeah show people like yo you don't have to be one styling over the uh, no. next matter of fact you want to you want to taste this right, right? you know we, 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 we love that being, you know, me, I'm coming from St. Louis, but I live in L.A., so recognize that L.A. got a very great barbecue culture, 
that people won't even, you know, imagine, right? right because right, right, it right. feels so West Coast, right, they right. think everything tofu and yeah. right, 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 vegan. Right, 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 Especially right, if you're right, in Memphis. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. exactly. But you know, it's California, no, Los Angeles, well, no what, right. the, the Great Migration, everybody migrated out west. Yeah. So you know, we right, have people right, from all right, over, right. Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, every, everybody, Texas, everybody is coming out west. Man. Yeah. It's the education, a lot of people don't even see that. Yeah. They just see you live on the west coast. Yeah. You know, one thing we I will be about, introducing some vegan ribs, though. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. No, oh, I'm playing. Yeah. I'm booked. Hey, I'm hey, saying, everybody yeah, going to run yeah, us yeah, out yeah, of here. Yeah, look, <laughs> look, look, look. The whole channel turned around like this. What? <laughs> no, right, somebody over joke. there start looking over here. You no, know what I mean? It's the pork, religion. It's pork flavored vegan. Yeah, it's pork flavored vegan. It's pork flavored vegan. Vegan ribs. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Okay. But here's one thing that I learned about barbecue. The reason why I fell in love with it at a young age was the fact that everybody has their own distinctive way it's with your sauce, mm -hmm. sure. the way you cook your meat. Mm -hmm. if you go to the Carolinas, it's more of a vinegar base. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Memphis is more of a, a sweet, uh, a tangy barbecue mm -hmm. sauce. Sure. Uh, Texas, you get out there, it's about the brisket. Yeah. So uh, it, it, you can you can stand out and be unique in your own way. Yeah. Um, and that's that's what I loved about it. You know, it ain't like a burger. I mean, it's a hamburger. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, yeah. what can we do to it? We can put some pickles or something I, on it, but you know. I did really want to ask y'all about the restaurants, though. Like, so when you open in a restaurant, do you think about that? Is it, you know, y'all both brought up the fact that it's different from being in the backyard. Mm -hmm. So do you take your backyard energy and you say, all right, cool, now I'm going to try to scale this to a bigger level? Or are you just, or, or when you're thinking about your restaurant, are you saying, look, I'm going to go ahead and make a name for myself in this area Keep it simple, keep it about what it, hey, it is I do, and that's it. You know, uh, like what what you do, AB? I think it starts in the backyard. Because sure. that's where you yeah. get your skill from. Right. That's where you become like a, a master at your craft. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then the challenge would be when you open up a restaurant, can you take that small little, you know, your backyard and turn that into every day? Sure. Right. Not right. just Monday. And the, or, or Friday, you got good food. Because what happens when they come, you know, somebody comes Saturday. Yeah, yeah. And if you, you read the reviews, a lot of people say, man, you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Yeah. So that, it, it starts with that backyard, man. Yeah, I've seen them review with somebody, go Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, don't go Wednesday. He drank it. Rufus going to be in there cooking on Wednesday. Thursday night, he going to be drinking. Don't go. Don't go once he starts drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one of the things that I, it's, it's about consistency. Yeah. Yeah. And it's about training. And it's about, I always try to make my restaurants as dummy proof as possible. Okay. We I want like consistency. That. We want to, you know, everybody then went in my pit. I hired a guy, I trained him, I taught him, okay. and he ran the pit, and that was his job. But yeah. then you got execution. Mm -hmm. What do you do with barbecue after you didn't cooked it till it get to your plate? Right. And then you got the customer service. Let's you know, can have a girl up there on the phone. I'll be with you in a minute. You know, all of that comes into it. So um, it was rewarding for me because it kept me on my toes 24-7. Right. And, you know, barbecue, as you guys know, is one of those things that you can't go in there and make it to order. Baby, yeah. it's got to, somebody got to be thinking almost Way 24 ahead hours ahead of time. Yeah. Of time. Yeah. yeah. You know, so uh, it's a lot to go into. You guys going to have a lot of fun, though. You no, have a lot of fun. Yeah. That, that's hey. the spirit in which we, you know, we coming at it, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, you know, we're not starting right out uh, in, in the restaurant space first. You know, yeah. we're we going to hit them with the rubs oh, and, and, and the seasonings and, and the sauces sure. first. And then we're going to slowly build. Gotcha. Uh, you know, with accessories, gotcha. and then into pits, gotcha. then into pop-up restaurants, and then opening our own brick and mortars and well, things a, like that. Well, it's a huge yeah. market for it. And oh, what yeah. I hear, what he's saying is, main thing, that what I'm hearing, I'm like, like the business side of it, right? I love the fact that you got a plan. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just told me your, 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 no, your one year. I sound like you got your two year, and yeah. then we go to your five year. Being here is somewhere where you seeing people really get down. I mean, serious. cooking whole hogs, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, whole man. Hog. I mean, right. how they oh, get did it? Did y'all see something? Yeah, yeah. Hey, not yet, not but yet. they told us about it. They told us what they doing. I saw somebody <laughs> brought one in on, in a Volkswagen sitting in the front seat. <laughs> and that was the pit. Yeah, right, right, right. That right. was a taxi cab. <laughs> that that was the taxi, taxi cab. Yeah. yeah. Dropped them off and made them pay. Well, listen here. We got, AB has got something you want to share with you guys. 
We hadn't said a lot about it, but we got some news that uh, we got to get you guys out to Vegas. Is this the one? Sure. Yeah, this, this is it. This oh, the ladies and gentlemen at home, <laughs> sit on the edge of your seats. <laughs> this is it, okay? Because this this is is it's this about to go down. Okay, so look, I'll just pass it over to you guys. Ooh, you know what I mean? What you this got is our trailer right here. Whoa. You know, we got buddy. a 26 foot, uh, 26 foot you know, trailer. Nice. Then okay. you can pull this up right anywhere. Oh, yeah. Anywhere. Anywhere. Southern, Southern Q. Q. Right. Southern Q. Southern Q. A B. So listen, you know, it's a Southern Cuisine and Fusion Barbecue. That looks good, too. Yeah. We're going to take that Look, look, look. Look at the brand. Okay. Why you got a shrimp on there? Hey, because it's, it's, it's a southern cuisine, right? Infused so with barbecue. Okay, you know so what I mean? You're doing okay, so, yo, like, so like if you follow like what Aaron Franklin, he did like a Japanese cuisine yeah, yeah. infused yeah. with the barbecue, oh, that's we go with man. the southern. And, and you're going to do that, food. but Vegas is where you're going to jump off. We're going to start it off in Vegas, and then okay. we're going to you know, start putting it out here throughout roll the country. Around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now I, 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 I don't know I like the history that. of the How do you pull that? Uh, you, 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 got a you, nice, got, got a nice truck. Like, truck, like twenty five hundred. Yeah, yeah. He won't let me drive. That's a big boy. How, how, how did I? You know, everybody asks us why Sid and I are doing this as friends. How did you guys, you know, hook up and 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 uh, and start this thing together? I got to say this. So, <laughs> something I had mentioned. We're in the Kingsford tent. Okay. And we got an amazing relationship with Kingsford. Um, I've been working with Kingsford for the last two years. <clears throat> I'm working with them, and y'all gonna really love this. It's a program called Preserve the Pit. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. with Preserve the Pit, I'm a mentor, and I mentor. And the program is about six of us mentoring African American pit masters. Okay, word. And what we spend time with them over the years is discussing. Um, how to help them grow their business. Everything from marketing to uh, hiring to insurance and signing lease agreements and all of those things. Yeah. Things that I wish I had. Now, I had my own, but beyond that, I didn't have a lot. So I was here last year. Who shows up but AB? Mm -hmm. And we met, we shook hands. Actually, it was, it was Kingsford that introduced me to you. Kingsford I was walking by. And, you know, I did a, I did a few videos for Kingsford, okay. you know what I mean, uh, okay. that was very, very successful. So I saw one of the people I was emailing back and forth with. So they stopped me, you know, said, hey, I got somebody for the meet. So almost 12 months to the date, we done got in bed together. We got yep. another partner. His name is Jonathan. He's the one that keeps passing. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, he, got, he got so stuff on the iPad. Right, 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 right. We right. formed and so, Grilling you know, TV. We formed Grilling TV. So oh, we, man, we, we that's We have dope. a full so, studio out there. Right. It's his brand and my brand that come together. Okay. And if you didn't know, I'm the largest African American channel on food uh, for on YouTube. Better you know, preach. Yeah, oh, better, better, better okay. tell something. I love that man yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hey, really, you know, from a business perspective, just think about it. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. Look at who he is. Look at what I represent. I made it cool for people that look like us that can wear this. We don't have to go right in there and good. look like uh, Gordon Ramsay yeah, or try to emulate that. nothing like that. Yeah, exactly. You be yourself, man. Right? Yeah, exactly. Hey, y'all talk me that. Yeah. You know no, what I mean? Hey, I just be myself. Yeah. You know what but I mean? What we have most this is, it. is that we are high, we are we are signing talent. Yes. So we're bringing talent into our studio oh, sure. and they're doing cooking videos. And yeah. All of you guys on Grilling TV Network, you already know, but uh, so we have all of these different playlists. And uh, so we shoot episodes out there. It's beautiful. Real Talk with AB and Pat Neely is only one of the playlists. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we say, well, hell, we've been grilling all these years let's go on and do a uh, uh, let's go on and, and put it out for retail so right. we, we, we're super busy this is the inside guys i just uh, got to share that that's with you that's, that's a full where, kit. Where, where's the spot at this that's is inside, that's inside the, the trailer yeah that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's inside that's the trailer it. what it's a monster ain't that's it? a Say monster it. right there man how are that's we get crazy. One of those? <laughs> How much work hey, does Sam and I have to do with AC barbecue, AB, a -B. before we can get this? <laughs> well, we got a conversation. Yes, I, can just, I, can just say, I can just say right there, we didn't, we didn't skip nothing. No, y'all no, didn't skip a thing. Like we can right pull there. up next to Hill's Kitchen and whatever they make there, no, this we is... can make it. Yeah, okay. yeah, you can be on Chopped with this. Oh, this is sure. crazy. Yeah, we are chopped. <laughs> that's crazy. Right, right. That's so crazy. it's quite amazing because we just met. The, the, the chemistry was electric Love immediately, mm -hmm. and we said, man, let's just do something. But we also had a passion with all of his success on YouTube with smoking and grilling. Yeah. That we wanted to we wanted to do something for these young chefs yeah. that don't have a place to land. Right. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. if, you, if you're fortunate enough like I was to be on Food Network, then that's great. But mm -hmm. everybody don't get that opportunity. Right. Yeah. And as you get older, you guys know this, as you get older, you want to say, well, what is my legacy really going to be about? Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, we've, we've been successful. Now, what, You're right. What and and you got, so nowadays, too, because you got all the people that's on YouTube just making little dishes or whatever. And you, like I say, some of them have really great skill sets, but don't have any real guidance right, on how right, to right. go beyond that, right? right? Mm -hmm. 
like how to take something and turn it in like you guys done, man. You you know, so that's wonderful, man. That's yeah, big up. You know what? You you say that, man. We appreciate that, bro. But you don't know what it means to me to be sitting right here. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, hey, you made it. You made it cool because of where you from. Yeah. You know, what I mean? not, not yeah. only because of me and him got a connection. Yeah, no, just no, we no from doubt, the West Coast. Man. Yeah, yeah. Right, you know, I'm, I rock with that. Even though you from from Compton, I'm from South Central. It's two different worlds. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. But overall, bro, I don't know if you can see them eyes, man. I'm talking real now. Yeah, no, you say yeah, you want me to be real? Be, yeah. I'm just, you know, hey, you made it cool for me right. to go ahead and take that chance because if you can do it, yeah, and you can do it. Yeah. Why can't I? Exactly. No, no. And then who would ever thought we'd be here in front? You know, inside of Kingsford. You know, right. all of us together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, so no, and I, and, I, and I mean, really, you know, in a lot of ways, that's what the grill does. That's what the yes. Q does. Yeah, you know, you bring that community, I, man. You pull up, absolutely. you start talking to people. Next thing you know, you got a connection. Eat a good, eat a good bite, and you grow, man. And I mean, mm -hmm. that, that that's the way our community did it from the very beginning, which was what really what Anthony and I was attracted to mm -hmm. about this world more than any other, you know, kind of idea of like throwing something out there. We know that. We can bring community together with 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 this barbecue this barbecue world, you know. Yeah. It's really, really, really remarkable yeah. when you look back. I mean, you guys, I'm sure you look back like I do, the way I grew up and said, "Wow!" Mm -hmm. And I'm having this kind of an impact. So many right. people look up to us yeah. to do the right thing, to be positive. Inspiration, bro. And I always tell mm -hmm. my story like, "Hey, I didn't always have. Right. I have right. nothing. Right. Sure. And I Absolutely. and I built it, and I sell, tell the story." as encouragement yeah. right, for right, our yeah. young folks. Yeah, exactly. They know yeah. that you can do it. I don't care where you come from, what you had. Right. You can do it. You know, you can end up hey, on But the main thing network. is, listen, if you don't try, you'll never know. You'll never yeah. know. You'll never yeah. know. Real quick, man, let's talk about some of them failures. Real quick. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, you know, I think that people always see the success, they see the end yeah. result, yeah. and they think like, well, they don't realize that it is going to be highs and lows, but in building that, what, what one of them times where you had to dig it out oh, and had man. to get back in it? You know what I mean? I love those stories. When I opened okay. in 88, it was 2,000 square feet. I had no money. When I was thinking about it, my 90-year-old grandmama put her house up for collateral. Mm. The first day I opened, I didn't have a cash register. I had a two-hour burner and a barbecue pit, and it seated 60 folks. In, in Memphis? In Memphis. Oh, and in two years, in 1990, I had saved enough money, me and my brother, to pay my grandmother, I didn't really pay her money back. Right. And uh, sure. <laughs> moved you know, to my second, my, wow. my location. I bought the property. Okay. So two years after that, I went to Come East on, Memphis, man. opened up. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Nashville. Had seven locations in the NBA arena when they brought the team here. Yeah. Okay. And then after I got on television, started doing stuff Food Network, we opened a spot in New York for about seven years, Neely's Barbecue Park. So it was always a journey, man. I didn't know yeah. it Yeah, I got, I got to cut you right here. Yeah. Maybe they don't know that, but I want to hear your failure. You know oh. what I mean? Because that right there, that tell, hey, that's the yeah, blueprint. Let me yeah. tell you that something. Was the, that yeah, was the great. Yeah. The day I opened, I said, failure ain't an option. Okay. I ain't worried about the failures. Right. Right. When I made mistakes and, 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 and had different issues, man, I brushed right through them. Mm -hmm. I got to keep pushing. Because yeah. if you soak in that failure, whatever sure. it might be, right. then it'll distract you from where you're trying to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I never really looked at my failures. You know, you was I in a highly know. competitive market too for it's barbecue. Like barbecue places. So that's man. crazy, man. Yeah. That's a wild choice. For him to choice. be successful? Yeah. yeah. Out here? Yeah. So let's we were the young boys. Well, let's talk about what set you apart then from those hundred other barbecue spots. You know? I think it was determination made and drive. Mm -hmm. I was so driven. It was seven days a week. I ate, slept, and bread. Neely's Barbecue was my baby. And every day I wanted to produce the best product I could. And you know what? It was never about the money. Okay. It was about you guys coming in and taking a bite of my sandwich and saying, my God, man, it's the best barbecue I've ever ate. That's what fueled me is to give you the best quality. Because I knew money would come. If you produce right. a good yeah. product, don't worry about the money. Yeah. Worry about producing a quality product. Yeah, exactly. every, and it required every single day. Thank God I wasn't 23. I was young enough to go and roll like that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Now you're trying yeah. to get me to go seven days a week, man. Yeah. Look yeah, at me. Like looking like for Pat by yeah. Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What Pat at? Man, he at home, like, man. He's like, I'm on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, you know, I tell people, you know, the biggest the biggest thing that I can say is sink all your teeth and everything, just like you guys have done in your craft. Yeah. It's the same with Charles mm -hmm. Cryer. You know, said your, your shows yeah. and Anthony, your shows and all the amazing, incredible work. I know without a doubt how much goes into that. Yeah. This man here 
has the largest channel, African American food channel on YouTube. And when I met him, the first thing I said is, wow, that's impressive. And then I said, but that took some work. Right. Yeah, no, right. Yeah, yeah. That took a lot. How many videos right. you got on your other channel, Smoking and Grilling? Uh, about 800. Yeah, it's, 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 right. that took some work. Let's it talk about out, that right. for, for a minute, A.B. How, how did you get started in that space, man? And, and how much work was involved in you growing it the way that you had? All right, look, <clears throat> it started with me with a deer. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it just started yeah, with a deer. Gobbles, gobbles, you know, gobbles, somebody gobbles. told me that I wasn't. It was my wife. She said, hey, you've been talking. I make my own barbecue sauce, right? Okay. So, look, I used to work on the road, come home every, 20, every, every 28 days, everybody in my backyard. You know what I mean? So everybody started saying, uh, bring, you know, make a little extra barbecue sauce for me. Then okay. it started getting out of hand, right? So I kept saying, I'm going to start me a YouTube channel and tell the whole world that I got the greatest barbecue sauce. But I said that since YouTube started. So seven, eight years it went by and I had never done nothing. Right. Okay. And then when, you know, to have her look me in my face and tell me, hey, you a dreamer because you've been talking about this and they put no action behind it. And I got mad one night and I was on the road. So that night I started a YouTube channel. It took me three weeks to make my first video, right? Mm. And then uh, when I made my first video, I would, my theme was to teach people, because I'm a traveler, to teach people uh, how to get out of the drive through and, you know, cooking these hotels and motels and these uh, yeah. these rooms. And from there, bro, I'm here. Hey, I'm sitting next to y'all, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I almost want to drop your tablet and walk off, man. <laughs> hey, I feel like I done made it to That's the top of the TV mountain. That's a real TV tablet. I'm going to take that away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you know what I mean? That. Hey, just... Hey, this is really real for me. Yeah. I, I don't want to be here like no fanboy, but well, that's who I, mean, I am. But you though. did, but you did, you did something at a time where, again, most people take advantage of it. We talk about that, especially through comedy, because a lot of people got the, the old, they got the OG brands, like, you know, started in the clubs, yeah, came right, up, right, and then right. you got comics that started to make it from the YouTubes, yep. from right, the, right, the, right. the, yep. the IG, you know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. say, wow. you said, you was able to put a national face on something and then build, not only just for yourself, but now you build it for others yeah. by building that largest channel like yeah, that, right, man. Right. You, you know, you, you, get, you just can't take that for granted, man. So big up to you. Salute, man. Yeah, That's right, big man. right there. That's I was so help. impressed with it, man. Cause, yeah. And then when we, I was going to his, Cali his California studio, and he had told me about it, and I walked in there, I said, man, this studio looked like something when I was in New York. I mean, I mean, it was all together, yeah. all the cameras, all the equipment, mm -hmm. the full kitchen. And we had already then started planning to come to Vegas, and okay. so we set up shop there. Vegas but is where it's No, Vegas is popping, though. Y'all yeah. no, no, come to Vegas, man, I got a red carpet with y'all name on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vegas. Oh, okay. like, we, 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 we finna hit it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, he, 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 he running. He running. We're going to burn that candle, man. Okay. Yeah, that's don't worry. Everybody going to sign the NDA, too. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I might be reserved right now. Y'all is like, hey, dude, cool. Don't hey, I'm, I'm just going to let you know, man. Nope. You come there? Yeah. I got you. Okay, AB. Say it, don't we there, with We there next week. Yeah. Hey, you ain't saying nothing. You ain't saying nothing. You pull up. Hey, I got to be here till what? Sunday morning? Yeah, yeah. We, we there next We there on the 27th. Oh, for sure. Hey, no pull worries, up, man. All right, let's do it. Don't pull up, Go Come forward. Oh, right, yeah, hey, that's hey, what we do. Hey, I remarried, man. I go to the hotel, man. I okay, go where well, you, well, 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 you do that? Yeah, yeah I go there. I'm divorced. No, no. So, okay. yeah, yeah. You, you good. Yeah. You know. I've been there. I ain't trying to go back. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. I understand. What else do y'all have in the works, bro? Talk uh, to us. Oh, man. I mean, I mean, you know, one is a blessing. We're able to do this. We're doing this show about the brand right here. But of course, I got the neighborhood that's popping Congratulations. off. Congratulations. Coming back to season six. We did 100 episodes. 100 episodes. Congratulations. Legendary. 100, you don't get that. Yeah. You know, I'm that's trying to right. keep up with this dude right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, you know, instead of producing a, a number of other shows, man, got spinoffs coming from the neighborhood. Good. Uh, you know, and, and you know, got a couple of movie projects coming out, man. So just us got a book. I did a book about my grandfather, so that's gonna be coming out in, in the uh, really? uh, coming out in the uh, fall? in the fall, in yeah, the fall. in September. So man, I might have to push my book back. Right, I don't know if I can be out here with next to y'all. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, different line. Oh, different line. Different line. Yeah, I would. I might have not I was yeah. on some like go going into story story <laughs> okay. mode. Okay, right. so it's dope. Did your did your did your grandfather did he barbecue? Nah, he was a player. He's a player. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone. Okay, I got you. Oh, I got you. I got well, you got to get barbecue from somewhere. Uncles, my uncles for yeah. sure. Yeah, my yeah. uncle Lloyd was was yeah. was the one. You know, I had several uncles, but my uncle Lloyd was the one that did it. You know, that was that was his Both move my right granddaddy's there. Granddaddy's barbecue, but with my uncle. So I really learned my business from my uncle. Who's still okay. in business, been in business almost fifty years now. But when I was young, sitting there, I ain't do number wash dishes. 
Boy, yes. get away from that pit. I better not go near. Right. But I was young and I watched. I used okay. to just watch yeah. every day. Yeah. So when I opened up, I already kind of had. had a, yeah. uh, but he never yeah. let me. He, hey, you got to start at the bottom, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he no, never, man, wash dishes definitely. in my floors. And we didn't have dishwashers back then. Right. No, These were it. dishwashers. Yeah. 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 Wash, yeah. rinse, sanitize, you know. But, um, you know, it's quite incredible. So. Where your barbecue come from? Uh, my dad, man. My, really? my dad was the youngest of 16 from Little Rock, Arkansas. Really? Right yeah. up the road? Okay. Yeah, okay. man. So, you know, I, I just grew up in the backyard with my pops, watching him build his own pits out of 55-gallon bronze. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. know, because he worked in the steel mills. So yeah. he had all that stuff. So we would do that. Uh, and that's and he would he would put that 55-gallon 55, 55 drum on the back of the truck, and we go to the park. We go to really? the park. We go to the beach. Yeah, we pull up at Dodger Stadium, be grilling in uh, in the parking lots and things like that, man. So yeah, that's that's These what my love came from. These young kids don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that at all. They don't know nothing about that. Man. I ain't got my shirt on. I, I had one on nah, yesterday. They, say old oh, school. That's Uber old school. Right yeah. yeah, right, right, yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, you got right. the phone. So look, yeah. let, 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 let me ask this: Which one do you? I'm gonna start with you. You prefer over? You want br uh, ribs or brisket? Oh, it, it, it's easily divided. Ribs. I'm a brisket dude. Really? Hey, hey, look. <laughs> Hey, check out the bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, so I ain't got to say yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, hey, I ain't got to say nothing. I already know. Oh, right, right, right. Right, right, right. Oh, right, right, right. That's my good name, Texas baby, style baby brisket. Baby brisket, man. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> and I can't say too much, man, because there's so many people over here. You got silence of the, what is that, silence of the lambs. You got yeah. all of these great people out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, I can't even really say nothing because I haven't really put my stamp on it. But check it out. My channel name is Smoking and Grilling with AB. Oh, you yeah. got to let them know something, right? Yeah, My yeah. restaurant is called Elmer and Jasper's Crab Barbecue because my grandfather and I got a partner who's there full time. Okay. You know what I mean? And uh, he's, uh, his, his grandfather's name is uh, Jasper. Uh, you know, know what I mean? But this is my real. Food, man. This okay. is, uh, hey, it, it impressed him when he came. He got, and it was I'm almost like, place. I was like, wait, oh, it was almost yeah. like what he was saying. I was like, do you understand barbecue. what you're saying? Yeah, come, he kept saying, damn. Yeah. This right here is right. I was like, I what did you expect? Yeah. yeah. You know, what did yeah. you expect? I, Man, he talked about that for about 10 hours, bro. Yeah, because uh. I just, you know, you just, I didn't expect to see Southern, almost like Memphis style barbecue. Right. In California, yeah, right, that, right not there, that far. Exactly. I just didn't. I didn't. I I'm gonna pull up on you in Rancho Cucamonga, man. Yeah. Hey, please call because you know I'm in Vegas, right? Uh -huh. My partner there, his name is Mike. You know what I mean? Okay. He take care of you. But when y'all come, yeah, anyone, go, one one by up. one, two yeah. by two, or six no. by six, it yeah, don't no, matter. Yeah, please call me. I'm only there, three man. and a half hours away, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We I got a nice little whip. I get right on that highway over you. No, 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 no. We coming to Vegas, dog. We coming to Vegas. We coming to Vegas. We coming to Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see when the Pat Neely and AB put their hands together. Yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, I did, right but you know what's been challenging? I don't know if this has been, it's not really been challenging, is, okay, he got his style, I got mine. Mm -hmm. And we have decided the egos are checked at the door. We're really about what, when we combine them, what really makes sense. Oh, yeah. You know, in See, terms man. of the barbecue sauce, I had my old barbecue sauce, he's got his. You know, how we cooking? And believe it or not, after all these years, man, I still have learned a lot from him about how we're going to cook these pork butts. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I looked and I said, well, damn, I was pretty successful. But I don't think I was doing it right. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, um, oh. it worked. Mm -hmm. But I think I, for the, the way we're going to do them is even better. Yeah. But even for the after time, all these years. just for the time, for the time that you was doing that, that's what made sense. Being. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. A lot of people don't think there's no evolution with this barbecue, but it is, man. It is. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, and then you, the real challenge is, you know, keeping up with your yield, making that money. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to, like, make this about that, but it's still about that because we got to pay employees. Yeah, well, that's you know it, what I mean? Man. We got to pay for advertisement. You got, you know, uh, Sometimes yeah. you got to bring people in, you know, just to get it out here. Yeah, well, yeah. You know what I mean? So it, you... it is a business. Yes. Yeah. And you have to thank treat you, it as such. Thank it's you, a business. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Folks going to look at that profit and loss. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, I know sir. I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and an opportunity to leave legacy or build them, you know, like I said, you got multiple stores. Y'all got, you know, you, you, you introducing the world beyond just, you know, a location. So you're right. How, how do you look at things as a business? It's going to be important. Right. And uh, all them tools y'all give the young folks too, the young chefs, mm -hmm. that's, that's that's it, man. So that again, generationally, everybody ain't got to start from the bottom, bottom. You right. know what I mean? You got to start from your if bottom. They do, then but what, you did, what was your purpose? Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. I mean, it's got to be more than just saying, "Oh, Pat Neely was on Food Network and this and that." That's got to yeah, be a lot yeah. more than that. You yeah, know, no, that's real. That, that's as you get older. That's what really means something to me. Yeah. You know, when people come back, young kids that I had mentored early on, to come back and say, "Man." 
I got four restaurants now, and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. I had a cat call me, he knew I was coming here. He said, man, I used to just admire you and I come in and he in the car wash business and now he's making seven figures a year in mm -hmm. Memphis washing cars. Right. Uh, he's yeah. built a monster business. And it was probably the best compliment I could ever get. Not my accolades on TV or my restaurant, but yeah. I used to just come in and get advice from you. Yeah. And I didn't even know I was having that impact. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? You don't exactly. even realize you you're having know. that impact, man. You but, never know. Uh, All I got to say is when, when you get these young pit masters and, and you, you give, you're teaching them, send them our way. <laughs> send them our way. Uh, so when we build these businesses, these, these brick and mortars, yeah. you know, we, we have somebody, somebody that know what they do. Yeah, yeah. You know what's, what's, and then we can build together. Right. Well, you know what's good about these cats? Man, they can grill. Yeah. The cat yeah, I had last important. year, man, he's in Indiana. Man, I mean, I ain't have to tell him nothing about cooking. Right. I right. was right. trying to teach him about the business, business side. Yeah. Business, how business to man. maintain yeah. and keep it going. Yeah. Because you got okay. the best barbecue in the world, but if you're running a, a, a crappy business, your books ain't in order, you're overpaying for insurance, you, 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 you're hiring practice yeah. out of order, you're yeah. going to be out of business. Exactly. Right. Okay, how good you exactly. yeah, that's right. Hey, so, so with that being said, listen, man, you guys are like the, like the cream of the crop out here in Memphis and May, you know what I mean? Uh, we can't take up all your time, yeah. you know yeah, what I mean? Uh, hey, but I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna speak from my heart and his heart. Listen, I'm gonna use words a lot of people don't wanna use. Hey, thanks for blessing us with your presence, man. Yes, sir, and Please man. let us know what we got to look forward to. What's coming up right next? Now's the time for you to do it. You, hey, let me give you some cues you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, man. Hey, since you was on me earlier, right. there first you up, go. First off, that's my camera right there. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> all right. I just, hey, you know what? Hey, this hey my bad. bad. <laughs> my bad. Look, I wanted it on that one. You know why? Because I want to be in the frame with you. Oh. You know what yeah, I'm mean? Hey, y'all, check it out. Look, I get to touch them. This ain't no green screen today. This ain't no green screen today. I just got to say this before we end today. I want y'all to close it out. And then I want to thank Kingsford for sponsoring yes. this episode of Real yeah. Talk with A.B. Yeah. and Pat Neely. Uh, they've done an incredible job. You guys be sure to go over to kingsford.com. Follow us through our journey with uh, Preserve the Pit, which yeah. is an amazing program where we are mentoring these outstanding African-American pit masters. Uh, and with that being said, say it. Hey, man, salute you, man. We appreciate y'all, man. Y'all check out AC Barbecue. We popping on the scene. Y'all make sure y'all follow us on our website, AC Barbecue. We popping off. We appreciate the love, man. Watch us on A&E. The show airs in August. Y'all watch us on A&E. Kings of Barbecue. Kings of Barbecue. Well, hopefully yeah. we can get y'all back right yeah. before there. Okay. Um, and we do a little pr promo stuff. You got Y'all know about all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a we'll, promo. We'll come to Vegas and shoot the promo. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, 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 we'll there we go. There we go. Hey, I'm finna talk to you about four million people, bro. Yeah, okay. I'm finna tell him, hey, he said he's coming. Okay. You got it right here. We no, pulling up. <laughs> Pull up, right? Yes. One last thing. Yes, Be sir. sure to subscribe to the Grilling TV oh. Network. Thanks so much. And y'all, yeah. I better see y'all subscribing. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Go on, hit that here, subscription man. button. Okay, you yeah, got some videos. I'm hitting it right now. I'm hitting it right now. Hey, so check it out. With that being said, you know how I leave all of my videos. You know, I used to uh, have a plate in front of me. I eat and do whatever. I usually walk all right, but this time I'm going to do it a little different. We're going to all do it like this. We out. Peace. 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 Peace.